Hello and welcome to episode 15 of my trophy guide for Resident Evil 4 Remake. We are now done with the challenging part of this playthrough and only need to push a little further until we get access to our infinite ammo weapon. Smash the three barrels behind the cart and collect another vintage compass from hidden chest. Access your storage and store the bolt thrower and hand cannon to make some space. Then retrieve your handgun, rifle and the scope. Attach the scope to the rifle and then quit out to combine your herb mixtures if you can. Also combine some rifle ammo if you have less than 10 shots left. Talk to the merchant and sell all non-combinable treasures, the hand cannon, the bolt thrower, all handgun and shotgun ammo, all bolts and attachable mines and all resources small. Now follow me into the castle. What are they? Shh. Keep your voice down. Run past this enemy and smash the two vases. Break the three barrels on the way outside and then use the rifle to take out the enemy blocking your path. From here we want to destroy medallion 1 out of 6 and then ascend the stairs. Make sure to shoot the weight to raise the cannon and then enter the catapult segment. Snipe the enemy in front of you. Then blow up the northern catapult and take out the enemy up and to the right. Advance and shoot the enemy up the stairs. Then turn back to take out the enemy approaching you from behind. As you see, he didn't really feel like it here. In that case, just wait a few seconds and then move on. Wait for the projectile to hit then advance to the top of the stairs and retreat a few steps. An enemy will come rushing towards Ashley and grab her. Stealth kill him while he is distracted. Wait for another projectile and then step onto the small bridge not far ahead. From here we snipe the eastern catapult and the enemy waiting next to the cannon. He might be hard to spot, but he is best visible in between the catapult fire. Wait for another projectile and then sprint to the cannon to take out the enemies chasing you. While at the cannon we also want to shoot the remaining two catapults and medallions 2 and 3 out of 6 right ahead.
then shoot the gate, destroy the medallion behind you, pick up the enemy loot and drop down to find the fifth medallion. All right. That went well. A little warning next time. From here, follow the path to the treasure and smash five more barrels and a crate on the way there. Destroy the final medallion and then pick up the elegant bangle from the chest. Pick up all the enemy loot, break the three barrels and the crate on the way and then enter the audience hall. Smash the vases and then access your storage. Look at this place. I mean, it's old, but. So that's a request done and dusted, eh? We now want to retrieve the Chicago Sweeper, being weapon 28 out of 29, and make sure there is a shortcut. We can also now store the rifle. Talk to the merchant and obtain your final 5 spinels. With that we have 30 spinels and can trade them for the exclusive upgrade ticket. Then sell all your non-combinable treasure, your handgun, all weak knives, all ammunition, all gunpowder and resources and the scope. I also just want to quickly mention that we do not sell grenades for now. More about that later. Now tune up the Chicago Sweeper to power level 4 and purchase the exclusive upgrade using your ticket to unlock infinite ammo. Progress further to trigger the combat sequence and take out all enemies. Again, start with the enemy behind you. With this new weapon, most of the following combat encounters are obviously a lot easier and in the most cases this makes it even more easy than with the infinite rocket launcher you will still have to watch out for enemies surrounding you. As long as you can funnel enemies in front of you, it is going to be easy. Smash the nearby vase and then collect the yellow herb from the cabinet before boosting up Ashley to open up the way forward. For now, we will have to continue collecting money as we have to purchase four single-use rocket launchers to deal with bosses, since that is the only weak point of the Chicago Sweeper. Over here. Got it. <laughs> now smash the vases next to you and go make your 8th out of 15 saves before we get to the guard door. Get through the door Ashley opened for you and smash the three small vases on the cupboards. Take a right to collect the elegant perfume bottle and then squeeze through the crack in the wall. Turn left and shoot down the ruby before opening the cabinet. Turn around and enter the dungeons. Pick up the red herb and then make your way to the dungeon key. Run towards the exit and equip a flash grenade. 
As soon as the Gyrador comes running, you want to throw it and stun him just long enough to open the exit. From here we want to walk, not run, and climb the ladder to escape. Use the dungeon key to leave the dungeons, break the barrel and climb the ladder into the treasury. Nothing. You were right about the animals though. You okay? I'm fine. Pick up this vinyl and green herb and smash the two barrels before entering the next room. Pull the chain next to the gate and then shoot the bird and snake medallions. Their location will be different on standard difficulty. Smash the vase and take the bloodied sword. Look at all this. Open this cabinet and then solve the puzzle as we have done many times before. Enter the next room to break another vase, smash a crate and find another viper. Then destroy two more crates and collect the golden bangle from the chest. Back in the audience chamber we want to shoot the seahorse medallion to the left and then smash the vase and lower the ladder at the end of the balcony. Guess we just circled around. Jump over the chandeliers, smash the vase and shoot the medallion to the left on standard or the medallion to the right on hardcore and professional. Drop down the opening to collect the golden hourglass and climb back up the ladder. Leon, are you kidding me? Jumping across chandeliers, seriously, who does that? <laughs> Where are you, my mother? Go through the newly opened doorway, break the vase and leave the audience chamber. <laughs> Here we can now open a cabinet, break three more vases and smash a barrel before entering water hall. This guy again. I'm taking the liberty of preparing some entertainment for you. Without further ado, the gallant knight protects the princess bear. Oh. Be careful. Smash the vase as you enter and then start taking out the enemies. The tactic here is very similar to when we had the rocket launcher. Get into a corner so that all enemies come from one direction and easily take them out. The only issue will be the archers on the balconies since our weapon is extremely bad at hitting anything precisely that is more than one meter away. Try to take out the archers from here. It might take some time but staying here will hide you from the other four archers and constant fire will at the very least consistently shoot their projectiles out of the air. Once you are done, take out the archers on the other two balconies. Since there is some downtime, let me quickly go over grenades. We need two hand grenades total for two skips in chapter 8 and we need four heavy grenades. Two for a skip in chapter 14 and two for a skip in chapter 15. You are free to sell any excess grenades, but those are required. Next. 
Now go back to collect all the enemy loot and take out the two archers next to the drawbridge. Break the two vases before dropping down to the lower area and start taking down the enemies there as well. Now smash the four bases, pick up the enemy loot and take the halo wheel. Place the wheel and take out the archer appearing to the left. Now you can smash the nearby vase and lower the staircase. Kill the shield enemy who dropped down as well and then climb the first set of stairs to fight back the next wave of enemies. You're serious. Do not worry too much if these archers take forever to kill. I have planned 30 minutes for this chapter. And it is better to keep healing items for more challenging sections instead of rushing this part. When you are finally done, pick up all the enemy loot. Then collect the red herb, smash the two vases and lower the last staircase.
We're not out of the woods yet. Boost up Ashley, smash the two vases, and then race your platform. Gun down the enemies approaching you and Ashley to easily get through this section. Come on. Okay. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I, I, I got this. I'll cover you. Don't stop. Cross the bridge, smash the vase, and escape. Okay, get back here! Don't leave me! Break the two crates next to the fountain, and that ends this chapter. At the end, you will want to be at a time of 2 hours and 24 minutes or less on standard and 2 hours and 38 minutes or less on Hardcore and Professional. Pick up the rhinoceros beetle behind the fountain and I also pick up the four fish swimming around here for some extra healing consumables. They do take up quite a bit of space, but we need all of our inventory for just the Chicago sweeper and a few grenades. The rest can be filled with healing items. Now shoot down the crow's nest for the scratched emerald and smash the vase and crate on the way to the wine cellar. Open fire on the red enemy and kill everyone approaching you. Do not even take the risk of entering this room until you killed all the roaming enemies. We have a prime spot to funnel all the enemies so might as well use it.
Now enter, smash the crate to your right and kill the red enemy. Do be aware of the two archers above. Now go upstairs, take out the archers and drop the chandelier. Pick up the enemy loot and cycle around the upper section to find two more crates. Then go down the other stairs and pick up the mirror with pearls and rubies from the chest. Drop down, pick up the red lantern and yellow diamond and then pick up the remaining two crates and all the enemy loot before leaving this place. Open this shortcut. Then make your way to the bindery and smash the barrel on the way. The lithographic stones here will be in different locations on standard difficulty, but the solution to the riddle will be the same. Also pick up the velvet blue from the display case. Place the square sword right, turn the square helmet and move it down, turn the square armor and put it left, and just turn the hexagon sword. That should do it. Alright, need to find Ashley. Smash the barrel here and pick up the small key further ahead. Oh great. Now turn back to the bindery to open the locked drawer for a brass pocket watch and collect an extravagant clock from the chest next to the fireplace. Take down this enemy and go past the next merchant location. Destroy the weight and smash the barrel outside. Then shoot the next weight to lower the drawbridge and take down the enemies here as well. meeting you once was enough. Collect the enemy loot and go upstairs. Be ready to take down the next three enemies as they approach you from upstairs. Smash these two barrels and then use a hand grenade to throw through the gate so it hits the weight on the outside wall. Make sure that the trajectory shows the grenade going through the gate before you throw. Climb up the tower above you, take out the archers and then collect all the loot including two barrels, a yellow herb and an emerald from the chest.
Now go back down, destroy the weight to get inside the tower and kill the enemies there. Take out the enemies coming towards you before you enter. Then go in and take out the archer to the left. Smash this barrel and then perform another gate skip, this time destroying the weight on the left side through the gate. Sadly, we cannot reasonably take out the giant with the Chicago sweeper, so quickly rush towards the next tower and hide behind the rubble to the left. Take out both enemies as they approach you from there. And don't forget the barrel to your right. Switch between hiding and shooting the archers ahead until they are dealt with and then drop down to the mid level. Take out the enemy here and turn around to drop down to the lowest level. Take out any remaining enemies down here and then shoot the ruby to collect it. Smash both barrels and ascend back to the mid-level to progress. Destroy the weight and the barrel and ascend the tower. Kill any enemies on the way, smash another barrel and raise the cannon all the way to the top where we can finally take out that giant. Kill the enemies on the way out and that ends chapter 8. If you made no save after the village siege then you can make your 15th bonus save here at the start of chapter 9. If you did make a save back then, you have to wait till the end of the next chapter. At the end of this chapter you want to be at a time of 2 hours and 39 minutes or less on standard and 2 hours and 55 minutes or less on hardcore and professional. Pick up the yellow herb in front of you and smash the three vases inside this room. He's in trouble, we can't just leave him, right? Now leave and smash the two barrels to the left. Enter the labyrinth and take an immediate left turn to find a crate. Now go back, smash the crate right of the stairs and lower the first flag. Hey, 
go deeper into the labyrinth and take a right turn to find three more crates, one of which contains another viper. Go down the other path this time and shoot the dog turning around the corner. Then go down the dead end to find two more crates and a first aid spray. Go back and take the correct path to find another crate and eventually reach the first dog cage. Shoot down both dogs before proceeding. Take out the dog jumping through the hedge here and then shoot both dogs around the fountain. Focus on the one straight ahead first as he likes to run away and roam the labyrinth, which makes traversing it really annoying. Open the chest for an elegant chessboard and smash the vase inside a small room nearby and then make your way to the next tower to lower the second flag. Go through the door and down the straight path to find a crate to the right. Then go down the path a junction earlier and take out another dog jumping through the hedge. Now take down all three dogs inside the second dog cage and pick up the flash grenade inside. Smash the crate and tell Ashley to hold the lever so you can reach the third and final flag. On the way there, make sure to take out the dog turning the corner. Be careful! Finally, get out of this maze. Take out the enemies and make your way to Ashley so she follows you again. Now break the crate underneath the exit and backtrack towards the wine cellar. Ashley, are you all right? Yeah, thanks.
kill the armored enemy and have Ashley open the door so we can smash two more crates and pick up another depraved idol. Also, do not forget to pick up the spinel from the enemy. This way. Okay. Good work. Whoa. I wonder how much that's worth. You gonna sell that thing you got? Enter the Grand Hall and loot both cabinets near the entrance. Then loot the cabinet and Alexandrite in the main hall before visiting the merchant. Ballroom must be this way. Combine your herbs and sell the dungeon key, all non-combinable treasures, the scratched emerald, rhinoceros beetle, all weak knives, all ammo, two green-red-yellow herb mixtures, and all gunpowder and resources. Now repair your combat knife and tune up your Chicago Sweeper to power level 5 before making your way to the dining hall. Look, there's a statue up there. Solve this puzzle by sitting in the correct spots to unlock the serpent head. Eat here? No thanks. Looks like we figured it out. Collect the red herb, smash the two vases, and pick up the mentioned serpent head. Next, we enter the armory. Smash a vase on the way there, and once inside, we can break another vase, pick up a green herb, and find another small key in the cabinet. Leon, there's some armor. Bet you could use it like a bulletproof bed. <laughs> Little old fashioned for my taste. Drop down to the lion head and smash all four vases there. Also pick up the flash grenade and then collect the lion head to start the fight against the armored enemies. Catch Ashley, pick up the spinels and leave the armory. On the way out, we pick up the cubic device and smash two more vases. Nighty night, knights. Come on. Got it. Do you? 
open the two cabinets on the upper level, followed by the vase near the gallery entrance, and then enter it. Break this vase and ready your flash grenade. Make your way across the catwalk and throw the flash grenade as soon as you can see the trajectory landing behind the lever. Then immediately run forward so the spawning enemy gets hit by the flash before he can turn the lever. If you fail this, then just kill the enemies and switch back the lever. Kill the enemies spawning in and then smash the two vases and pick up the goat hat to your left. Be aware that the remaining enemies will run to you so be ready to take them out as well. Now go down to the lower level, smash the vase to the right and go up the ladder to pick up the enemy loot, including a red barrel. Drop back down and collect all the loot here including 5 more vases, a green herb, another flash grenade and a yellow diamond from the chest underneath the catwalk. Now place all heads on the headless statue to enter Ashley's segment. We again want to collect the treasure in this section, so follow me to reveal the hidden staircase in the back of the library and collect the bunch of keys. Now we can go open the first chest with the second key to obtain an elegant perfume bottle.
the solution to the clock puzzle is 7 o'clock on hardcore on professional and 4 past 11 o'clock on standard. Pull all the chains to open up the path forward where we want to use the first key on the chest to collect an emerald. Now copy my placement of lanterns, collect the Salazar family insignia and make your way all the way back and up through the library. The heck? Here we can now use the fourth key on the chest to collect a sapphire and end the chapter where you can now make your 10th out of 15 saves. At the end of this chapter you want to be at a time of 3 hours and 6 minutes or less on standard and 3 hours and 25 minutes or less on hardcore and professional. That concludes this episode. I will see you in the next one.